Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I know I said we'd continue working on this, but honestly I kind of feel like we need to actually complete this contract and the only thing we need for it now is a thousand units of mono propellant in our outpost. So let's go ahead and put that on hold for right now and we'll open up our generic module, which is right here which currently is actually a fuel module. That's exciting stuff. We'll go ahead and get rid of that, and we will save that as the generic module. And then, actually, rather than basing this off of the generic module, let's actually base this off of the habitation module. So we'll have this, and then, Instead of having these habitation sections, we'll instead just have monopropellant tanks. We need, what, a thousand units of monopropellant on there? So we could have it be... Hang on. These aren't monopropellant tanks at all. <laughs> okay, we could uh, just search for them. Monopropellant. Okay, these are in fact monopropellant. I don't need... It's, it's too early in the morning for this. Okay, so this has how much mono repellent in it? 144? No, 120 it had. This has 400. How big is this? Pretty big. Let's go a size down. Maybe R1s? These have... These are bigger. Okay. So, a couple of things. I don't know if we're going to need a double-decker row here. But uh, let's just go with, say, this guy, which has 120. Place it there. So that's 240, 360. We could take this off and put on one more. So that's 480 right there, right? So then if we were to have three total rows, I guess it's fine to have that many rows. Which, of course, means that we'll need to detach all of these octagonal struts over here. Although... I'm going to put them back. And there is a reason for this. The reason is one of balance. We are instead going to take off one over here. So we only have one padding unit here on each side. So that way we'll be a little bit more balanced. Excellent. Now plop that guy in right there, and that actually is pretty much perfect. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty close. Close enough, perhaps, for what we're trying to do here. So we have something along the lines of that. We're going to need to redo some of these struts, though. There's no doubt about that. So let's run this strut up to here. And we can go ahead and get rid of this strut. We have some uh, interesting strut scenarios going on over here, to be sure. We'll connect you right in there. Get rid of this strut. Grab this strut. I guess we can go this way. I guess we can't go that way. Uh, we're in mirror symmetry, that's why. Okay, let's uh, let's leave mirror symmetry. Can we just be in radial symmetry, please? Nope. Okay. No radial symmetry for you. Just come on in here then, and we'll do this completely manually. Now we're attached over here, so we should be fine. We'll need to do it on this this side as well. That was not, I think, where I wanted that to go. There we go. Place that in right there. And it looks like we are still missing one strut right there. Okay. So that should be pretty much good to go. I do want to test one thing, though, before we launch. I'm going to take all the monopropellant out of that tank. 
and we need to actually have the mono propellant there, but only a thousand units. So we're only going to bring a thousand units. Realistically, let's see here. How much mono propellant do we have on here? So this is 480 times 4, which I'm too lazy to figure out in my head. 480 times 4 is 1920. So we have 920 extra units. With this off, we have 900. With this off, we have 780. With this off, we have 660. With this off, we have 540. And we're gonna like equalize these out, right? So how many tanks in total do we have? We have four, we have 16 tanks. How much fuel do we need per tank? We have 16 tanks and we need a thousand units. 1,000 divided by 16 is 62.5. Okay, we can do that. So, technically we can't. We could do 72. Which is probably close enough. That'll cut our weight roughly in half of this module. It'll, it won't quite be half, but it'll be pretty close to half. And we won't be overshooting by quite as much as we would otherwise be. However, that does also give us enough storage to work with later on. Okay, there we go. Now, let's uh, just take this out to the pad and do a quick flow test. I'm not sure how this is going to work. If this works fine, then I think it's overall going to work fine. But we'll find out. Pin this guy open. Pin this guy open. Out. That works fine. Fantastic. Okay, so with that being the case, the question then becomes, can it flow through the docking ports. Well, let's just revert this back to the vehicle assembly and let's dock one of these up. It's going to try to be real quick with this. So I'm not going, actually, I'm going to save this as is and then I'm just going to launch this. We're not even going to try to move it very far just enough off the launch pad that we'll be able to launch, ideally. Okay, let's go. Uh, we are just auto-turning to the right, which is fun. But that appears to be stopping. Okay, put on the brakes. There we go. Just turn this way a little bit. And let's head back to the Space Center. And we're going to launch one of these again. And we're just going to test the fuel flow through the docking just to make sure that works. And then we'll go ahead and launch this thing. So let's launch a second. Habitation module. Oh, I never renamed it to a monopropellant module. Okay. <laughs> That's exciting stuff. Well, we shouldn't need another habitation module, realistically. We should be okay on that front. So I don't think that's a problem, all things considered. Okay, come on. Let's put on the brakes. Oh, we broke our wheels. That was exciting. Never done that, coming down that before. So we're going to need to revert that then. We broke three of our four wheels. Like, that's interesting. We haven't managed to do that even while landing. 
Okay, let's try this again. Down we go. Break, 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 break. Not the wheels. Don't break the wheels. Oh, we broke one wheel. Did we bro we broke both of our front wheels there. It's exciting. We're just kind of inching forward right now. We're drifting. Is this drifting? This is drifting. That's weird. Okay, let's go ahead and revert that again, and uh, hopefully we won't break the wheels this time. What's going on with that, though? Like, we're not doing this any differently than we did our other modules, but the wheels are just uh, not really cooperating very much at all. So I guess we'll just need to be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna start braking now. And there go the wheels. Okay. Let's uh, try something a little bit different. Let's get rid of the sky crane this time. And hope that that makes a difference. Okay, this is going to be uh, detaching those things. Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay, I was wondering if they were ever going to turn off. <laughs> I like how they didn't uh, attenuate the sound with distance. That's exciting stuff. Okay, now let's get aligned here. A little bit anyway. Let's go ahead and control from here for now. Okay, we are a bit inverted here. That thing is still just drifting sideways. Look at that. Can we get in there? We're drifting away from each other right now. Oh, come on, dock up. Okay, let's uh, see if we can't do something. A oh, brakes are on. That explains a lot. No, not that way. Come on. Stop drifting. Nope. 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 Okay. Let's uh, switch back here. And see if we can't get in here. While compensating for it drifting. I don't know why it's drifting. That's just weird. It should, I think, drift right into us. And then we should dock up, I hope. I think the reason we're drifting has to do with our clipping here. We might want to address that. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and revert this back to vehicle assembly. Because I, I really do think that it has to do 
with our clipping that we've got going on here. I think that's messing with our physics. So I'm gonna take these tanks off of here and we're gonna go for a smaller tank type, like the R10s. These hold how much? 20 mono propellant? Okay, that's not much. What else could we do? We could do donuts. Those hold 27. That's still not much. The other thing that we could do is we could go down to a single row of these. Like, essentially, we would ditch this here. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish up our mono propellant module and send it, send it off towards Minmus. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.